Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to create the famous Twitter splash screen and we are going to do that using the new motion layout from the Android Jetpack library. And if you don't know what Twitter splash screen was, I'll just play it for you. Talking about this motion layout, it is a subclass of Android constraint layout which allows you to animate just about any view or layout in the app very easily. And getting off topic, if you like the UI of the app that I am running, let me know in the comment section and I will make a video to create the UI of this app. Anyways, now let's get back to the splash screen. So I will just create a new project and you can give it any name with empty activity. Alright. And then I'll place the logo icon in the drawable folder. If you don't have any logo, you can use the logo which I'm using. I'll keep it in the description of this video. And then let's create a new activity. It should be empty activity. And let's give it name splash screen activity. Then open the layout of the splash screen activity and on the design tab we can just drag and drop one image view. Then you can select the image or the logo. Now let's switch to the split tab. And center align this logo in this activity. So I'll just get rid of these two statements or properties. And then I will define four properties. First is constraint end to end of parent. Then constraint bottom to bottom of parent. Then constraint top to top of parent. And then finally constraint start to start of parent. This will center align the image view in the activity and let's make the height to wrap content and define a specific width let's say 200 dp after that let's define some colors for the background so for that navigate to values folder which is inside the resource folder or res folder there you will find this colors.xml here i'm going to define three colors All right, then moving back to the layout of splash screen. In the constraint layout, I'll just add one background property. And then the color which we have just defined. All right, so now that we have defined the basic, let's switch to the design tab. And then under this component tree, right click on constraint layout. And then now we need to add the motion. And you can observe that our parent layout has been changed to motion layout. And the design view has also changed a little bit. And there's one more XML file that has been generated with the name activity splash screen motion scene. We will get to that XML file later. Now in order to observe the original animation, we have to keep three things in mind. In the beginning, the logo is scaled down for one or two seconds. Then the scaled down logo stays as it is for around half to one second. And then finally the logo is scaled up to fill the entire screen. Now in order to do that, click on this arrow which is connecting the start and the end constraint sets. This will open the transition timeline. Then you click on this create 
keyframes it is at the end of the transition timeline then click on key attribute now we have to define the key attributes that is we have to define the scale x scale y for all the different positions and make sure that id is selected here and uh, under id we have image view then the first position will be zero and uh, the attribute will be scale x then you click on add now we have to do the same for the scale y so we'll just select scale y here and add in the same way we have to define key attributes for different positions so we will just do that here and then after that we will define the scale x and scale y values for all the positions so let's again define key attribute and here the position is 20 then again for scale y for position 20 then we will define scale x and scale y for position 40 and then finally we will define scale x and scale y for position 100 now that we have defined the key attributes for scale x and y for different positions now we can change the scale x and scale y values for these different positions so click on this small diamond which is at the beginning that is at the position 0 and you will observe it has a scale x value of 1.2 so we will let it stay the same now the key attribute which is at the position 20 here we are going to reduce the scale values we will make it 0 0.7 do this for both the scales that is scale x and scale y make both of them 0 0.7 so this will in effect scale down the size of the logo then click on the diamond which is at the position 40 or the frame position at 40 here we will keep the scale x to 1.2 and same goes for scale y then finally at the frame position 100 we will make the scale x and scale y 50 and while selecting the diamond make sure you click on the diamond otherwise it will not be selected and if it is not selected you cannot change the values in the key attribute so that will scale up the size of the logo to fit the entire screen and if you have done it successfully then you can just click on play and have a look at the animation now there are two ways to run this animation when the app begins that is the animation will start when we click or swipe anyways now let's first change the launcher activity because the launcher activity is still the main activity so the splash screen will not be the launcher activity so open the android manifest and here we just have to cut the intent filter containing category launcher and we will paste it within the activity tags of splash screen activity so this will make the splash screen activity as the launcher activity let's run the app and see if we can see any animation all right we don't have any animation even after tapping or clicking and we have this action bar on top also so let's get rid of the action bar first under the values directory there is themes you click on theme then under this parent change this to no action bar and uh, let's have one click handler in the splash screen layout there are two kind of click handlers 
either you can have for the base layout or you can have for the image view if you have it for the base layout which means you can click anywhere on the activity and the animation will start for the image view we will have to click on the image view to start the animation anyways for the time being let's just select base layout and add let's run the app and you can observe the animation is starting only when we click and now let's remove the click handler and instead let's have this animation started as soon as the app is launched or the splash screen activity is loaded so for that navigate to this xml folder this is the new xml folder that was created when we converted the constraint layout into motion layout and under this directory we have this activity splash screen scene open this up now scrolling down we have this on click so we will just remove it and then under this transition tag if you want you can increase or decrease the duration here 1000 stands for one second and let's add one more property to start the animation as soon as the activity is loaded that is auto transition and select the value to animate to end now run the app and you can see the animation as soon as the activity starts let's increase the duration to 2 seconds anyways now we want to open the main activity after 2 seconds of the splash screen activity so let's get into the splash screen activity dot java and we will start by defining one splash screen display length variable this will be our final variable and it will contain the duration of splash screen Here I am declaring 2000 so that means splash screen activity will be on the screen for 2 seconds. Then getting inside the on create method we will define a new handler and in simple words there are two main uses for a handler. First is to schedule messages and runnables to be executed at some point in the future and second to enqueue an action to be performed on a different thread than your own. So we will just define a new handler here dot post delayed now post delayed will take two parameters first is a runnable and second is the duration so just type new runnable hit enter then here we can just add semicolon and after the curly braces comma and then we have to define the duration and as we have already defined one variable so i'll just use that variable here then getting inside the run method we have to create an intent to start the main activity and close the splash screen activity so let's just create a new intent main activity intent equals new intent splash screen activity dot this comma main activity dot class and then just start the activity by giving it the intent that we have created that is main activity intent all right i have to change this to a small letter okay then we have to finish this splash screen activity to close it now let's run the app and you can see the animation is starting as soon as the app is loaded and the animation is for two seconds for now also if you want to get rid of the status bar from the top of the screen which displays information such as network or the notifications you can follow my another video the link is in the description as well as on the top of the screen in that video i have shown how we can have different themes in one app like we can have one common theme for the entire app and then another theme for some particular activities so you can follow that video to get rid of this status bar 
or the action bar from the top of the screen so that the splash screen is in the full screen of the window let's just reduce the time in the handler let's make it 1.5 seconds and run the app all right and if you want to try it with different logo you can do that or you can also try it with the twitter logo anyways we are done for this video hope you liked the video thanks for watching